Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. They call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Derek Henry. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3 nothing lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. No gain on the play there, second down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. At the 25-yard line. That's the Three nothing after one on EA Sports.
run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Here's Carson. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. On third down, Wilson. And Robinson with a big catch. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the gain there. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. That's complete. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. To throw is Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Third and long, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Eagles. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their... Timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And some room to maneuver. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Henry. And some room to work. The 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. up at the half will join who Charles the coach the coach Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando he'll have stats and scores from games in progress as well as scores from earlier today so, the coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes on second down now it's Johnson and he is into the end zone touchdown Philadelphia David Johnson his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there. And they got in for six points. And that's going to be.